I I live just down the road, the old road still, you know. And we right here at the Carwell Batik right now. We I work four days a week for Mr. Widerson. I work here at ten years already, like um from eighty one to ninety one. Doing gardening. I was supervisor at the garden at the time. Yeah. Cause we were here when the hurricane Hugo had mashed up the place. Me and he was here on the ground. We watched everything. We put back the flowers together. Just me and he alone. And everything went good, you know. Well, a few things happened and then she fell off. And then I do a little gardening for the man, Dr. Christmas. I worked there for 15 years. You know, man, if you're familiar with Dr. Joseph Christmas. And he used to always say he got the best garden in the world. Eh? We had met with uh, a lady at the time there, Miss Josephine Huggins. I worked for her too. You know? And he was paying me $250 a week, eight hours. And Miss Josephine was paying me $250 a week, two hours a day. A man come there at the time and she was telling him that she got the best garden in the world. I mean, she got the best garden. And the man said, no, Mr. Christmas got the best garden now because he tell me he got the best garden in the world. And I just standing up listening to them. <laughs> she, she, she said, she said, well, this is Dr. Christmas garden. <laughs> yeah, I work for a long while and then I always like construction, eh, but the gardening thing looked like he pulled me all the time. For well, a long time, I go to school and so, I always, you know, they always talk about it in, in, in thing, you know, talk about the Caribbean Awaks when they settle and all of that and so. But I don't really follow it up too much. But I see the rocks them there. Well, they mean a lot, in a sense, because, I mean, they got their own thing to do. Because people come and visit them and so on. That make it good for the country and at least we got a little history. Because we ain't got nothing like that, they make a sense coming here. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Exactly. And it's good to really know that we got something to memory, you know, something that went on. Cause I just like, you know what the you couldn't say, well, something went on. You know, it's just like I passed you here and when I got and everybody will say, okay, well, Raspi was a good guy here and, you know what I mean? Columbus, them come and do the thing. I come and do the thing, <laughs> you know. So, it's kind of all right, in a sense. Yeah, the Caribac thing, you know, it mean a lot. It mean a lot to, you know, the development of the tourist business. I, I think the man should uplift it more. Well, Mr. Williams try his best. I just, you know, he once ago he used to send me down there too. Well, he, well, he was out, of, he was in a bad condition at the time. And he sent me down there to get it organized for him. So I used to go down there and work for him down there. He's like bringing two whites there. It was just a lot of bush and things. But a little controversy come on. So I cut out it because I show Mr. Widdowson the problem, you know? And then, well, he got some people looking after it, but it look good now because, you know, once you start something and somebody keep it up, it's supposed to look good. Might not look the way it's supposed to look, but look good enough to say, well, it look good. You need to um, beautify it. Beautify it, I mean, Maybe a little flowers and thing, and maybe, maybe if you could put more, more right in there, where people can say, well, all right, you know, because every time everybody go there, they got somebody to tell them I went on. So you see, like how they do around there with the bulls to say I went on. So he will speak for himself. You ain't got some, you ain't got to got somebody to tell you what's going on. Because if you as a tourist come here and go there, you'll be looking around and just watching it. It look like maybe it look like a joke to you. <laughs> But if you got something there to tell you about went on, I guess you might get more you might get more serious and understand what we really went on them time. When we used to go to school we always hear them say we went on with the Caribbean Arocks up there. You know, they had a little problem and the lady there now says she'll make friends move in and you know, tell them man we're going on next year, look, she thinks that the man gonna see her. The man did with she as well. And everybody went. And then they said that's where the blood run down the river there for days, they say. I mean, when you look at it, a long time we read about Henry Morgan and all them things then, you know what I mean? We don't even know the areas where them was, you know what I mean? 
and we loan both them and we get marks for them and you know and everything so i believe if we could get marks for your own history that'll be good even with the ministry of education still you know because they want they got they get the children them involved because if they hide, the more they hide the, the less the less you know we know and the they youth them will come so we don't know where we know so we're going to go and sell everybody where we know, but when the youth them come now and they don't know, what they're going to say? So you got to make a space for them to know. And the more people know, the more, you know, serious people will get about it and say, all right, well, let me restore it as something important because, you know, we hear, as I tell you, we hear about Henry Margaret and all them boys back in them place up there, so we don't know them. But we know about the Caribbean Arawak. Well, we didn't personally know them, but you could say we know them still because they left things to see that we were there, they were here, you know? So it's good to say, well, teach the history in school, teach the local history. You could blend it, but teach the local one. Because when the tourists come here, they don't want to hear about Henry Morgan. They want to hear about Columbus and them boys will come here and settle and do the thing, you know what I mean? Whether it was good or bad, because, I mean, you can't do everything good. How the good come bad, and how the bad come good. Well, somebody had to make a start. I mean, without a discovery, there is no forward. If you don't discover something, you can't go forward with it. So, at least he come and he do it, and then I'll come behind and follow, and make the place where it is today. Because, I mean, just like, just like politics, I mean, people say the first government ain't do nothing, but at least they make a start. And then now this one come and continue, and then another one will come and do the same, you know. So, as long as you ain't get what you want, nothing good for you. <laughs> but when you get what you want, you don't care what everything good, <laughs> you know what I mean?